Hello everyone, this is Pastor Matt. Uh, first off, I just want to say one more huge, giant, ginormously huge thank you to everyone who helped us at our serve day uh, today. You all rock. Um, but even if you weren't able to join us today because of weather or illness or, or something else, don't worry. Uh, we already have some future serve days in the works and um, we're planning some pretty awesome stuff. So just stay tuned a little bit longer there. Uh, I didn't want you to miss the devotional that we did today, though, um, even if you missed the rest of the morning. So this video is for you. Because, you know, as we're doing this Love Month thing at SCC, where every February we zero in on some principles from the Bible that can help us have stronger marriages, man, today's passages in terms of our Bible in a Year reading schedule you can't miss them. Um, Numbers, chapter 30, I mean, look at how it begins. Right at the beginning of the chapter, it's talking about how seriously God takes vows. Look, it says, this is what the Lord commands. When a man makes a vow to the Lord, or takes an oath to obligate himself by a pledge, he must not break his word, but must do everything he said. Which obviously is a verse that applies very directly to Love Month here at SCC, right? Um, because when you get married, you, you make vows to each other before God. Uh, vows to love, honor, and cherish one another. For richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. Till death do you part. On the days you want to keep the vows and the days you don't. God still expects us to take those seriously and fulfill our duties every day. Um, Amy and I actually have a copy of our vows that are framed hanging in our bedroom. So they're always in front of us because it can be easy to get distracted by the busyness of life and, and lose sight of, of what it is we committed to at our wedding. So I like to reread those every so often. Um, A, to remind myself of what exactly I committed to, but also B, because it, it takes us back to our wedding day in a sense and has this way of refocusing my mind and my heart back to what really matters most in this life, um, which is God first and Amy second, uh, which is also a reason why I love our serve days here at SCC. Um, because seriously, there is nothing in this life that I have found that helps to build a healthy marriage relationship like serving God side by side with your spouse, right? Making your marriage about him and eternal things rather than just us and temporary things. Church, there's nothing like getting those priorities straight. God first and spouse second. So even if you missed today, I want to challenge you this week to ask yourself this question. Where can I serve with my spouse? Whether it's volunteering once a month at a homeless shelter or, or helping like at Monterey Compassion Pregnancy Resource Center or, or something. Where can I serve Jesus together with my spouse? And if you're not married yet, then ask yourself, okay, well, looking ahead, where could I serve someday? And this week, either way, go get involved serving somewhere. Have a great week.